Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd do a quick tutorial on the V1 rocket and how to set it up and where to actually find it. Seems that few people may have a little bit of difficulty, but uh, hopefully this will resolve that. So let's go into the mission editor. So where can I find the actual V1 rocket? Well, go into the tank, select artillery, and you can select any of the items in the V1 launch pack. Now, what I've done is I've actually created a template. So what I will do is I'll select Germany and then drop down to the V1 launch site and put one into game. And it is that simple. This template is made up of various elements um, from the actual build. I actually put this together myself so it's a bit fiddly uh, but you can copy this template if you wanted to. So that's the first element, that's where to find it. Now that we've put the V1 into game, let's get it to fire. So you can put as many as you want in from the template if that's what you want to do, but let's close that down. Let's click on the launcher itself, that's the launch ramp itself, that's the icon for it. And what we'll do is we'll make it fire at one of these buildings. I don't want to go a long distance, otherwise it'll take ages to make this video and see the, the V1 blow up. So, you first of all go to Advanced Waypoints. That will give you a drop down. You click on Add. Keep in, in Perform Task. And then select the drop down and choose Fire at Point. That will give you a blue line with a blue triangle at the end of it. Now that will turn yellow when you actually click onto it, like so. And then all you do is move that triangle to the target that you want to take out. So let's zoom in. I don't want to take out that particular warehouse, so we'll put it on that black building there. And it's as simple as that. What we don't do here, uh, this is the simplest format, is I'm not telling it how many rounds to expend. Now, the V1 launcher has 15 rockets included, as on a daily average, it could potentially fire 15 rockets at the south of England. So, we've left it like that. If you don't tick any of these boxes, this launcher will now fire 15 rounds in total until its ammunition is exhausted at the same target. So, that's the simplest method for setup. And I'll show you how that works now. Here we are in the mission where the V-1 launch site launches 15 V-1 missiles at a single target. So let's see that in action. In this particular instance the first missile will load after 18 seconds and then it should launch at its single target. And there we have the first V-1 launch. Now what usually happens is the missile will get all the way to its target and explode. And I'll speed that up for you. And then another V1 will then be loaded. I'll quickly speed it up for you. And we're back at the launch site. So after loading time it should fire another V1 at the same target. There we have it. Let's go to F6. Watch the missile again. We'll just speed it up quickly. Don't want to bore you watching missiles fly to a target. Second missile on target. Same target. Back to the launch site, just wait for the load time again. And there we have it, and it will do that 
for a total of 15 launches. And I'll quickly speed through so you'll be able to see that. Might look a bit strange, but hey ho. As you can see, it continues to launch. It will do that 15 times. And there you have it, the most basic method of launching a V1. Okay, so now I'll show you the second method, which is basically getting this launcher here to fire three rounds at three separate targets. So, that was our original firing. What I'll do is I'll change that. In fact, we won't change it, we'll leave it as is, but we'll actually clone that. So clone it twice. So I'm going to fire three rockets at three separate targets. Now what I need to do is edit the first line and change rounds expended to a checkbox and we'll just have the one missile and do the same for the other two. So basically what will happen now is this will fire three rounds at three separate targets. So at this end, we need to pick out the, the separate targets. So fire at that one first, fire at that one second, and fire at this one third. And just to add a bit of spice to it, what we can do is delay the launches by setting a condition. So if we go into the condition box here, this current mission starts at midday. So if I wanted that first missile to fire at one minute past midday, plus its load time, which is approximately 18 seconds, I change that to a one. So that's one minute after 12, it will fire the first V1. And I'll repeat that for the second. We'll do that two minutes afterwards. And then for the third, three minutes afterwards. Obviously that's plus load time, which is approximately 18 seconds, like I mentioned. So now what will happen is this site will fire three V1 rockets at three separate targets, and then will fire no more rounds. So in essence, what you could do is you could set this 15 times and allocate 15 different targets if you wanted to. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so here we are, ready to start the mission. This particular version is the 3v1s versus 3 targets. Very simple, very straightforward, and I'll show you quickly how that works. So let's go to fly. You'll see the timer at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen is currently on 12, 0, 0, and 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds. Now, because I set the um, timer to 1 minute past 12, it should launch a V1 at 12.01 plus 18 seconds, because that's the approximate time to load the V1. So let's just see if that happens. I'll speed it up quickly for you. When it gets close, I'll obviously slow it back down to normal time. And we're close now. There we go. First missile away. Now what should happen is at approximately 12.02 plus a few seconds, it should launch a second one. So let's speed up to that. I'll get close to 12.02 and then go back to normal time. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go. It's an approximation. It's the, it varies, but it's only by a few seconds. So that's the second missile away. We'll now speed up to the third missile. Getting close again. And there goes the third missile. What we'll do now is we'll zoom in on the missile and watch it fly to its target. 
That's the second missile closing in on its target there. Bang. As you can see, two separate targets have already been hit by numbers one and two, and three is on its way. What I'll do is I'll speed it up again for you. Don't want to get bored watching a missile fly to a target. As soon as it starts to climb, I'll put it back to normal. There we have it, homing in on its third and final target. Three separate targets at three separate times launched from the ramp. As you can see, no more missiles have been loaded. And what I'll do again is speed it up. And we'll go to a roughly seven minutes, I think. Let's speed it up again. And quite clearly you can see that no more V1s are actually loading. We're now approaching seven minutes after the mission start. Eight minutes. Blah, 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 blah. And as instructed, no more V1s are launched. Thanks for watching and I hope you found that so useful. Cheers.